What's up guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be talking about the dreaded subject which is cryptocurrency and tax. Now unfortunately pretty much everyone does have to pay tax um, with cryptocurrency with that, that be capital gains if you're cashing it out or if you're trading cryptocurrency. And I've got an article we're going to go over today if you're in the UK which I know most of you guys are, you definitely want to stick around because this could have an impact on you. So taking a quick look at the markets, we can see Bitcoin um, pretty much got rejected at about 12K. We'll be taking a quick look at that in just a minute. Uh, overall, the BTC dominance is pretty similar. The volume is increased, has increased a little bit, and the market cap is within a pretty similar amount. I mean, overall, the prices um, are pretty similar to a few days ago. We have seen some sharp decreases. Um, for example, Litecoin is down at $92. Um, Ethereum is back at 226, it was approaching 230, and just overall we had a bit of a price rejection. But what that means is usually if we had a price rejection in USD, hopefully some of the alts compared to BTC should be climbing up and we can make some profits. Taking a quick look at Bitcoin, um, not wasting anyone's time. Uh, before we do jump into Bitcoin though, definitely let me know down in the comments um, what you think about the Bitcoin price right now. If you've been trading at all, if you've been making any gains or losses, it's okay. Uh, and just overall, let me know what's going on. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel and hit like on this video. So we can see here we uh, on the one day um, Bitstamp BTC USD chart, we can see we pretty much strongly got rejected at about $12,000, give or take a few dollars. And we did have a pretty much uh, instant bounce back down to around 11500 something like that. Also, um, the price is starting to increase right now, which is not too bad. Um, it's going to be very interesting to see if we actually go and test it again, or if we have some large uh, candlesticks rejecting that price once again. Overall, Bitcoin is still looking very bullish when you zoom out. Um, the volume, however, is still quite low in my opinion. Uh, we did have a lot, of, a bit of a volume spike here because of this massive daily candle uh, reaching up to this 12k uh, range. But overall, the volume is pretty low for Bitcoin, unfortunately, right now. So before we do get into the video any further, if you haven't already, first line of the description, $100 per day free training. It's pretty much a one hour masterclass where I go over how you can make over $100 a day trading cryptocurrency and it's totally free to join. I really recommend you join it. Um, a lot of people have been getting great results from it. Uh, they've been shooting me emails and it's free guys, <laughs> why not? Uh, it's a free training resource. You should definitely use it and make the most of it. So getting into today's video, unfortunately, UK tax authority requests user data from crypto exchanges. So if you're in the UK, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it was nice knowing, no, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, crypto exchanges come under fire. According to FinTech Focus media outlet Coindesk, industry sources said that agencies have sent letters to at least three crypto exchanges in the UK, including Coinbase, eToro, and CEX, requesting they provide the list of users transactional data. HMRC, I believe that's Her Majesty's Revenue Customs, is reportedly aiming to co cooperate with cryptocurrency exchanges in a bid to identify individuals who evade taxes. According to cited sources, the agency will probably only go back two or three years. Now, this is very, very interesting because as it says down here, um, if they only go back two or three years, uh, I think the interesting thing here is that individuals who went into cryptocurrency very early in 2012, 2013, very early adopters uh, will not be affected. And they're probably the ones, as it goes on to say, that, that made the most amount of money. It's only people jumping in in the last few years that are getting hit, which is very, very strange because the people jumping in in 2012, 2013, right now they're most likely millionaires, most likely, and they probably got a lot of tax to pay. Uh, but instead, they're just going after the people over the past two, three years, which I'm not quite sure why. These exchanges, however, can retain information on their clients and the transactions that they have completed. These transactions may result in potential tax charges and HMRC has the power to issue notices requiring exchanges to provide this information. This is very scary. <laughs> Last December, HMRC um, published its first detailed tax legalization for private cryptocurrency holders following a lengthy uh, consultation period. Specifically, it demands individuals to, to pay either crypto gains, a capital gains tax on their crypto or income tax. 
depending on the type of cryptocurrency transactions they are, they are involved in. So overall, um, yeah, it's not looking too great for cryptocurrency tax in the UK at the moment. I mean, it honestly, it's really not that difficult to to go about it. All you have to do is pretty much. I have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> If you guys have been watching that, drop me a comment down below. I have what are these ads on Coin Telegraph? That is crazy. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have been infected by the cryptocurrency tax in the UK or the US, or in fact any other country. Maybe your country has lenient tax laws. I technically uh, am not a UK citizen anymore. Um, I am a U I have a UK passport, but I'm not an active UK citizen or resident, I guess I should say. So this kind of doesn't apply to me, um, but still I'm from the UK. Uh, it applies to a lot of friends and family uh, and stuff like that. Um, lastly, I'm going to go over taxes and crypto, give you a little bit of an overview of uh, this article on Investopedia. I will try to have this article linked down below in the description, right below that free training. So while originally proclaimed anonymous, the lion's share of Bitcoin transactions today aren't transparent. That's something that most people know now, that, but not everyone does know that. Bitcoin transactions are out there on the blockchain. Pretty much anyone can see them. Uh, it's not like you can hide from <laughs> the tax man. While regulators, central banks, and federal judges all have different opinions on how to categorize Bitcoin, whether a currency or commodity, they all seem to agree that it should be taxed. Most major currency, uh, countries tax cryptocurrencies similarly. So... I've highlighted here some key articles that you need to know about Bitcoin tax. While cryptocurrency brokers aren't required to issue a 1099 forms to clients, this is a US tax form I believe, traders are supposed to dis disclose everything to the IRS or face tax evasion charges. Taxable transactions include, now I know it says IRS and 1099 which is American, but this is pretty much similar, uh, as similar it is to the UK. So these are the things the taxable transactions include exchanging cryptocurrency for fiat money or cashing out. So selling your crypto, paying for goods or services using uh, Bitcoin, such as buying a cup of coffee with Bitcoin, exchanging one cryptocurrency for another example, you buy Bitcoin at 1000, uh, when it hits 2000, you sell your Bitcoin for Ethereum, you're still not uh, you're still eligible, I know, <laughs> eligible, <laughs> you still have to pay tax on that. Uh, receiving mined or forked cryptocurrencies, this is an interesting one, receiving forked cryptocurrencies, but yeah. The following are not taxable events according to the IRS. Buying cryptocurrency with fiat money. Donating cryptocurrency to a tax-exempt non-profit charity. Making a gift of cryptocurrency to a third party. So, uh gift your cryptocurrency to your spouse, I don't know, <laughs> uh, transferring cryptocurrency between wallets. This is all non-taxable. Cashing out of crypto, uh, in keeping with the standard tax rules, when cashing out of cryptocurrency for fiat money like dollars, one will need to know the basis uh, price of the Bitcoin they're selling. For example, if you bought Bitcoin at $6,000 and sold it at $8,000 three months later, you'll pay short-term capital gains tax equivalent to your month-to-month -month income tax on the $2,000 gained. If the same trade took place over two-year timeline, long-term capital gains tax um, is applied. This is 0% for those in the 10 to 15% income bracket, 15% in 25 to 35% income bracket, and 20% 20, 20 for those in uh, higher brackets. So you can see long-term capital gains tax is applied could be from as little as zero all the way up to 35%, which definitely isn't ideal. So just as an example, if you take a ballpark of 20%, if you made $2,000 here, that's roughly about, you'd pay about $400 uh, dollars tax on that. Um, so you'd be left with about a $1,600 profit, which I mean, it's not terrible. Tax is tax. You have to pay it. Um, it's just something that happens. Personal purchases, the tax on buying a cup of coffee with cryptocurrency uh, are also involved. One must know the basis price of Bitcoin they used to buy the coffee, then subtract it uh, by the cost of the coffee. Currently, tax code allows taxpayers to exclude up to $200 per transaction for foreign currency exchange rate gain. If the gain was derived from a personal purchase, like a cup of coffee. This is known as a de minimis election, <laughs> but there is no de minimis clause that exempts small transactions, which can create a very tangled tax problem if one is constantly trading crypto 
or using it to buy goods or services. So I'm going to have this full article linked down below. I definitely recommend at least going over and checking out these things that are taxed and aren't taxed. And if you're looking for something uh, to help you with your taxes, you can definitely use a website like CryptoTrader.tax. Um, I've been in touch with the, the owner of this quite a few times. It actually has a really, really good website and really, really good service. I don't have an affiliate link for it or anything. And this is just something that I've seen over the years that stands out as being something pretty interesting. Also in Binance as well, you can just go ahead and uh, go on your trader diary and see stuff like that. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you haven't already, first link in the description, make sure to sign up for the $100 per day trading cryptocurrency masterclass completely free register now and attend the webinar and i can't wait to see you there thanks for watching guys i'll catch you in the next video